Well, thanks for logging on to Wayne.com. We've got four teams left in the area. We're down to the final four. Semi-state football on the horizon. Our man Tom Davis from the New Sentinel joining us right now. We're going to break down all four games, so let's just start at the top, shall we? Sure. All right, we've got number two, Bishop Dwanger. They're traveling to number nine, Hammond Morton. 12-1 and one are the Bombers. This game is Saturday night, 6 o'clock Fort Wayne time, 5 o'clock Central. Should be a good one. What, what do you What do you know about uh, Hammond Morton? Well, the, the governors are a really good team. They're they're uh, twelve and one, and they beat an undefeated twelve and zero Concord team last weekend, uh, forty six to thirteen. So thoroughly dismantled them. Uh, they've got kind of a unique offense in that they have a lot of skilled athletes. But one thing they do that's out of the ordinary is they rotate quarterbacks every single play. And uh, they're both big guys, 166, 163. And so they're big, strong arm guys. And, and uh, the 6'6 six, six guy throws for a little bit more yards and, and has been used more often. But uh, so that's something different that uh, Bishop Dwinger will have to prepare for. The only thing that I really have to kind of go on to, as a measuring stick as to how they compare to Dwinger is. Uh, Hammond Morton has lost a Lowell twice in the last uh, two years, both by considerable margins, whereas Dwinger played Lowell last year and took him down to the final play before losing. So uh, it leads me to believe that maybe Bishop Dwinger's a little bit stronger than Hammond Morton, and uh, so I look for Bishop Dwinger to be able to get this done. But it's a long road trip. It's in Hammond, and so you never know at this point. Everybody's really good at this point. So, uh, But, yeah, Hammond Morton struggled with Lowell as has Dwinger in years past, but not last year. They almost beat him. Yeah, I misspoke. I, I called them the Bombers. They're the Governors. Yeah. Hey, these are new teams. We, we don't know That's these right. teams. We'll get to the Bombers a little bit later. They play uh, Bishop right. Bluers. So, uh, you know, Hammond Morton, they're coming off their, their very first regional title. Bishop Dwinger, they've been here. Five straight regional titles, 17. That's a state record. You know, these guys have been here. They've made the long trips. That experience has to pay off. Oh, it absolutely does help Dwinger in this situation. And, and later on, you'll see some other teams like Leo that doesn't have that experience, and, and uh, but South Bend St. Joe does. But we'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, yeah, Bishop Dwinger, you know, with the big crowd and the long road trip and a lot riding on the, the line, that none of that's going to affect the Dwinger kids because they, they've played in so many big games. And in their conference, they play in so many big games. When you play Snyder and you play Lures and, and you have 7,000 people there at the Lures game like they did this year. So uh, none of that is going to really uh, harm Dwinger's kids. They're not going to be awed by anything. Now, Hammond, on the other hand, you know, this is for, this is for all the marbles to get to uh, – Lucas Oil Stadium, so a lot's going to be riding on that uh, for them. So they may be a little bit jittery, but uh, you know, Dwinger does have hanging over their head that this is their fourth time playing in the semi state in the, in the last four years, and they've lost three of them. So, uh, you know, the one year they got by uh, Lowell in 2008, but uh, you know, we'll see if they can get it done. Um, one thing that's really helped Dwinger late in the season is their improved quarterback play. Uh, Patrick Ryan, his first year, just gets better every single week. And you have the dual running back tandem of Jalen West and Ramon Wright. Uh, so if you key on one guy, it frees up the other. They have great receivers, and their defense has just been magnificent. And, uh, you know, somehow they figured out a way to somewhat control Tavon Hurst last week in that win against New Haven. So uh, uh, Dwinger's really clicking on all cylinders right now. Yeah, I mean, Hammond Morton's defense better be ready for this Bishop Dwinger offense. Just looking at some of the stats, Patrick Ryan, 20 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Right. How impressive is that? Oh, it's unbelievably impressive, especially considering it's his first year in starting. And, uh, you know, he's a relatively inexperienced quarterback. Uh, it's, it's not like he's a three-year starter, but it tells you how smart he is. And it also tells you that the Bishop Dwinger offense coordinator puts him in positions to succeed. He doesn't ask him to throw downfield a ton or to make uh, throws into tight coverage, and, and he kind of gives him a game plan that he can follow. And you talked about the dual running back tandem. Ramon Wright, over 1,800 yards, 29 touchdowns. Jalen West, 15 touchdowns. I don't know how you stop them. Then you have Steven Espinoza, oh, yeah. eight receiving touchdowns. I mean, they've got weapons. Oh, they have so many different weapons. As a defense coordinator, I have no idea how you can say, well, here's where we're going to focus our attention. Because let's say you're going to take Ramon Wright out of it, you've got Jalen West. Or if you take both the running backs, you're going to load up the box and put eight or nine in there. Patrick Ryan will absolutely kill you. I 
saw him throw a corner route against Columbia City a couple weeks ago that was just a magnificent throw. He had a space of about this big that he could put the ball in, and he did it. And so, uh, you know, I have no idea how Hammond Morton is going to contain that Dwinger offense. Uh, my best guess is they're going to have to hope they can outscore Dwinger because um, uh, they're certainly not going to shut the Dwinger offense down. And it seems like these semi-state games, they always come down to the wire. Sure. If it comes down to the kicking game, Greg Black, Bishop Dwinger, 5 of 6 on field goals on the year, 65 of 66 from extra points. So the Saints have him in their back pocket. Yeah. What's your prediction? Well, I think Dwinger's going to find a way to win. They've got the experience. They've got the weapons. They have the kicking game, the special teams. Uh, they're just not going to be rattled. And I, th I think Hammond Morton's going to see a Dwinger team uh, that is the likes that they have not seen this year. And so uh, I really think Dwinger will find a way to get this done, and they'll head down to Indianapolis. I have the feeling the same thing. The Saints, they're a team of destiny this year. They're going back to Lucas Oil. 